What's up? It's your boy JP. Where are my JPers at? It is Friday and uh, I can't eat meat on Friday. It's a Catholic thing. So as an alternative, Julia's taking me to Qdoba because I hear they got this new fire roasted shrimp. Fire! Well, make sure you smash that like button, hit that notification bell because today's vlog's gonna be lit. Fire! We could be vloggers, right? We'd be recording videos every day. Yeah, we got tons of fire to shrimp right here. And it comes on our fire to shrimp and guacamole burrito. Limited time only, seasonal. Well, you heard them, guys. Shrimp's only here for a limited time. When it goes, no one knows. And nobody knows when it's coming back. So we gotta get shrimp now, come on. What's up guys, we are excited to announce that we are the ambassadors of Qdoba. I'm so happy. We get to eat all of their awesome, craveable food and we're also gonna be live streaming on Qdoba's Facebook page in the near future. But right now we're here to talk about shrimp, fire roasted shrimp. So let's pause this video, rewind back to the restaurant, let's order some food. We're gonna be an annoying order, I'm, I apologize ahead of time. Okay, so we're gonna do the shrimp salad. Shrimp burrito, shrimp taco, shrimp soup, shrimp nachos. Oh, you see how gorgeous that looks? So many bold citrusy and chili flavors. Yum. You don't ever want to mess with the chef. They know what they're talking about. Okay, I got enough. Do you want me to take a picture of you with it too? No. Okay. I'm hungry. Okay. I love burritos. I have been waiting for this moment for at least 15 minutes. <laughs> Qdoba for breakfast, smart. The shrimp, I love it. It's super citrusy, but it's got like a chili flavor to it. Nachos. Mm. I love lettuce. Shrimp soup. Now I've done seen everything. And I really like the shrimp in the soup. It's got layers. It's like an onion or an ogre. Because ogres have layers. JP, what do you got now? Shrimp taco. <laughs> you can't get shrimp at Chipotle or Moe's. Mm, throwing shade. Dude, these tacos are so awesome. You know what we should do? We should just buy a bunch of these tacos and put them on a pizza. That is such a good idea. Cue the music. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable. I do what I want when I want and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the yeah, air. I got tons of soul on my true. We're back from Kidobo. We got all their shrimp, all their fixings. And we're about to make our first ever pescatarian dish on healthy junk food. This isn't our first pescatarian dish. What's pescatarian? This is one of very few pescatarian dishes on our channel. Oh, there's bacon. Okay, we're gonna put bacon in it and yeah. steak. It's not pescatarian. Yeah. It's Are you guys ready? Let's make some pizza. Yay. We got Julia Golia on the dough, working it like a champ. Look at that smile. Look at that hat. All that's coming together. Voila. We're going on with some sauce. Oops. Oh. Make sure you splatter it a lot. So we're just making pizza. For the first quadrant of our pizza, we are going to be using fire roasted shrimp, fajita veggies, and cotilla cheese. A beautiful blend, amazing balance, a beautiful taco. For our second quadrant, we're gonna go crunchy and soft. Spread a layer of queso on the soft tortilla and then apply the hard shell. I would have done this to all of them, but Julia threatened our relationship. Are you gonna put them in the hard shells with some queso? Not these ones. You're my better friend than JP. JP's not my good friend. For this taco, we're going to go steak, shrimp, tomatoes, chimichurri, and more tomatoes. We shall call this the do what Julia says taco. Marvelous. Just so you guys know, this is a two-man operation. I have an itch on my nose. <laughs> I have an itch. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. For our third quadrant, we're going shrimp, bacon, corn, beans, more bacon, and cheese. I'm kind of doing it a little bit different each time with these ones, but they look the same on top. And for our final quadrant, we're going crunchy and soft again. It appears that Julia has established a faster process, which is crucial because we are running out of time. You only have five minutes, Julia, until this camera will stop automatically. You better hurry up. For this taco, we're going steak, bacon, and pico de gallo. Three minutes remaining. Oh no! But we're not done yet. The center of our pizza will house a generous portion of hand-smashed guacamole, and we can finish this off with a sour cream drizzle. In three, two, one, and time. Good job. Yeah. 
And we're done. There you go. Wow, that looks like a carousel of tacos. I am so happy that this exists. I can't wait to see how functional this is. <laughs> You guys can use any type of tacos on top of your pizza. You can eat your pizza taco any way you like. That's how you very good. That's what the whole yeah, project was about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so fun. Don't hurt yourself. That looks kind of dangerous. Guacamole should be on pizza. Avocado pizza. Yeah. I made a whole pizza. Do you guys want to come eat some? Yes. I know you've been yes. with Guys, big thanks to Kidoba for feeding us and being the inspiration behind this recipe. I hope that you guys get to try out that fire roasted shrimp. Remember, get it before it's gone. And if you do, take a picture and tag us at Healthy Junk Food. And at Kidoba. And we'll put it on our website. <laughs> Alright guys, let me introduce to you the taco holder, Carmen Valone. And uh, there's Charlie. I'm here. <laughs> nose scratcher. <laughs> I'd scratch his nose. Get the oh. Oh, Lordy. oh, there we go. I might have cut apart your taco a little bit. <laughs> Well worth the wait. You're gonna have to take a shower after this. Am I supposed to dislocate my jaw? Is that how I'm supposed to eat this? Mmm. Pizza and taco. What can I say? It's probably a, a brilliant idea I had in college and then forgot. If this is like your first date and you want to impress a girl, take this and eat it in front of her. <laughs> She'll be yours for a while. <laughs> Great job, Julia, and big thanks to Qdoba again for supplying all this food. If you guys haven't tried their fire roasted shrimp, we highly recommend it. Go to your nearest Qdoba location or go to the one we went to. I'll be there in spirit. Or I'll just pop up and be like, surprise! <laughs> You're me! <laughs> mm.